the Jacksonville Jaguars are now on the clock. With the 15th pick of the 2014 NFL Fantasy Draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars select Calvin Johnson. Oh, baby! What is up, everybody? Welcome to the very first episode of my Connected Franchise Mode with a few of my buddies here on Madden 15 Ultimate Team. And guys, I am taking over the Jacksonville Jaguars, one of the absolute worst franchises really in the history of the NFL, but certainly one of the worst in the NFL currently as of today. They have just been absolutely atrocious, but what we decided to do for this connected franchise mode was actually do a fantasy draft. So you guys saw there in that opening clip, my very first draft pick, and that was Megatron Calvin Johnson, one of my favorite players in all of Madden 15, of course, absolutely a beast and probably my favorite player in the NFL today, maybe Tom Brady, but yeah, he's definitely a monster. I love Calvin Johnson. Wish he was healthy. But anyways, uh, I wanted to show you guys my my uh, actual roster here now that we did the fantasy draft so that you guys can actually get an idea of what you're going to be viewing here in this connected franchise mode going forward. Let's rock through my depth chart real quickly here. And it starts off pretty thin. I'm not going to lie to you guys. <laughs> We've got Brian Hoyer at quarterback of the Cleveland Browns currently in the real NFL anyway. Uh, but Brian Hoyer is going to be the quarterback for this team, at least for the time being. Now, it is possible that I might look at Case Keenum, although there's actually a trade on my offer sheet right now that I might want to take a look at regarding Case Keenum. So we'll take a look at that at the end of this video. But quarterback position, Brian Hoyer for right now. Don't really have a whole lot other than that. At, at my running back position, I think I'm pretty stacked, to be honest with you guys. I'm very, very happy with the guys that I have here. Matt Forte, obviously one of the best running backs in the game. My backup, Niall Davis, but I might not even go with Niall Davis. I actually went in and looked at players who were undrafted. Somehow, Kristen Michael went undrafted. And if you look at these attributes that this dude has, he is an absolute monster. So I'm really thinking that I might end up going with Kristen Michael as my backup running back, but either way, neither of these guys should probably see the field too often. It's probably going to be a whole lot of Matt Forte, and hopefully we're able to run the football with him. At fullback, I did decide to invest in a decent fullback because I want to see what I can do, but we are going to have Derek Coleman here at the fullback position, so he is pretty solid. Uh, going on to wide receiver, obviously, we've got Megatron, the captain of the of the entire team. He is an absolute beast in this game. Second wide receiver, we're going to go with Emmanuel Sanders, I'm thinking, because Emmanuel Sanders is having a breakout season in the real NFL. He's still pretty quick in this game, although I think they kind of underrated his speed. Uh, yeah, he's 93 speed, so that's really not that spectacular. Moving on to our tight end position, we have Mercedes Lewis and Brandon Pettigrew. Not too excited about that. You guys know I like to spam my tight ends, so I might be looking to upgrade there at some point. Um, it, it was just one of those situations. I couldn't find a good tight end to draft early, and I wasn't going to sit there and wait through the entire draft. So I, what I ended up doing was just letting the computer draft some of these positions. At left tackle, we have a young left tackle in Taylor Luan who should be able to progress relatively quickly. Um, we also have Kelvin Beecham as our backup left tackle, so not too bad there. It's not a, not a great position for us, but at left guard, we've got Mike Upati, one of the absolute most beastly offensive linemen in this whole game. He is one of the better run blockers that you're going to come across. At center, we're going with Ryan Wendell, not great, but not terrible. Uh, at right guard, this is probably my worst position. Vladimir Dukas, I'm not excited about that at all. I might need to be looking to upgrade that pretty quickly because 71 overall is not going to cut it if I want to run the ball to the right. But thankfully, at right tackle, I do have Anthony Davis. So that should be a nice lead blocker if I run to the outside, if I can get past that right guard position, which is pretty thin right now. Now, on the defensive line, this is where I think I'm most stacked. I decided that I wanted to invest in a solid defensive line because I want to get after the quarterback. I want to be able to stop the run. So what I got here was Mario Williams, who I think is one of the best overall defensive ends in this game. He can stop the run and he can get after the quarterback. And then at right end, we have his former teammate from college, Manny Lawson from NC State. And uh, he is a pretty awesome defensive end in his own right. Very, very quick as well. 
87 speed for a defensive end so obviously he's going to be a pass rushing specialist for me and then at defensive tackle we have a 99 Gerald McCoy now I don't actually think that Gerald McCoy is 99 in the real game I think these must be edited rosters to some extent anyway but this is a beastly duo here because I've got Henry Milton as my other defensive tackle we're rocking a 4-3 defense here for sure but man if one of these guys gets hurt I am real real thin because my next guy that I've got is Ziggy Hood and I really don't have anything else besides that but I knew that when I went into this draft I needed to get Gerald McCoy because he was available to me and I think it was either like the second or the third round and I decided to go with him just because I mean his attributes are ridiculous at left outside linebacker we're, we're pretty thin here we've got Philip Wheeler and then in the middle Nick Roach you know my linebackers I would probably say are my weak point overall on my whole team um, I'm really just not too excited about any of them to be honest so I might be looking to upgrade there as well but cornerback, we're doing okay here. Antonio Cromartie is one of the more underrated cornerbacks in the game. He's super tall, super fast, and uh, very, very good in coverage. So definitely like to have him. And then I ended up getting a few guys here who are all 78 overall. So we're, kind, we're probably going to kind of interchange these guys depending on the speed and the size of the of the players that we're going up against because Chris Cook's pretty big at six foot two and 90 speed he'll probably end up being my uh cornerback too in fact I'm just going to go ahead and make that move right now then we move on to free safety Rashad Johnson is not very good and I'm actually thinking I, I'm really looking at this because Terrence Brooks has 92 speed and I know speed isn't everything but I might end up usering that position a lot, the free safety position, and it would be nice to have a guy with 92 speed. So I'm going to really think about that. We'll see how Rashad Johnson does early, but it's his job to lose. And then at our strong safety position, we have a beast, Dante Whitner. And then in the, uh, in the backup position, we have one of the best guys from the past decade at the position, Adrian Wilson. So in case Dante Whitner does go down, I'm still somewhat confident in Adrian Wilson overall. Kicker, we do have Connor Barth, and then punter, we've got one of the better boots in the entire league in Shane Leckler. Uh, he's also going to be my kickoff specialist. The guy who I'm using at punt return and kick returner right now is Emmanuel Sanders. I think that he's probably the best option for me. Um, I might end up going with like a Niall Davis or something like that, but as you guys can see here at third down running back, we're gonna go with Matt Forte as well. So anyways, that is the lineup, guys. But I wanted to also hop in and, like I said, show you a trade offer that I have because uh, this one is something that I'm pretty interested in, I'm thinking. Because, my, as you guys saw, my wide receivers are pretty darn thin after Emmanuel Sanders and Calvin Johnson. So I have a trade offer right now on my block. I give up Case Keenum, who is my backup quarterback, who I'm probably not ever going to play, I imagine. Or if I do, it would only be like a slight upgrade from Brian Hoyer anyway. And I get a decent receiver here in return, Eddie Royal. So I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to go ahead and accept this offer. And we'll hop back in and uh, quickly update my lineup. Oh, excuse me. I need to get into depth chart. Um... But yeah, so oh, that was what I needed to do. See, I'm, I'm brand new to connected franchise mode, guys. But uh, I, I'm excited to do this because it should be a lot of fun. Gosh, my quarterback situation is just atrocious now if I if I end up getting hurt with uh, with Brian Hoyer. So hopefully he doesn't go down. Um, Jermaine Curse is going to be demoted here, I'm thinking. Although, you know, Eddie Royal is not going to be much of an upgrade from him. But he might be better in the slot for me because he does have more speed. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for the first video here of this series. Check back because I'm going to be doing some gameplay footage from this when I play head-to-head -head games. Games, most likely I don't know if I'm gonna upload every single game or if I you know make a particular move or things like that that I think you guys might be interested I'll upload a video of that this will not overtake what I'm doing with mutt mutt is still gonna be the main content that you see from me from Madden but I wanted to switch things up a little bit run a connected franchise mode with real teams well to some extent real teams anyway and maybe create some rivalries and things like that so I hope you guys enjoy this if you did make sure you press that like button below let me know what you guys think I need to do on my team do I need Need to make improvements somewhere is there a particular position that i'm awful at that i need to trade for let me know in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can be 
updated when I put out a new video. Thank you guys, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.